Greetings, Hastings residents, young and old. Welcome to the original series, Strangely Local. I am your host, Alec Matheson. Now, show of hands here. Who else has used this new transportation service fast ride? I used it to get to work the other day, and my conversation with the driver led to them recounting a very interesting tale that was just too fascinating not to share with you all. The following is a video I recorded from my ride, and before anyone asks, yes, I got their permission. Let's take a listen. So, uh, y y you were saying? Yeah, so... I got a brief about someone who needed a ride from the other side of town, so I took the offer and went to get them. I arrived and saw nobody was there. It was past ten, so a part of me wondered if this was some kind of prank, you know? Uh huh. I waited for four minutes, which is the company's limit for drivers to be at the pickup spot. I started the car up again, and finally they showed up and got him. So, he was tall, thin bald and clean-shaven guy in a suit with an emotionless expression. He kept asking questions the whole ride over. Like what? Very random things. Like why are the leaves falling from the trees? Why is the sky getting dark earlier in the day? Why are the birds flying away for the season? It's like he was born yesterday or something, you know? Anything else you noticed about this gentleman? He was strange but polite. I don't know what his deal was, but it was a long ride, like 30 minutes, and his destination was in town, believe it or not. Where did you go? Believe it or not, around the same place I picked him up. Whoa! For sure, but you know, money is money, am I right? So I drop him off, he says goodbye. I take off, and I see him enter into a small building that had like zero lights on. When I got to the stop sign at the end of the street, I turned around, there was this big blue bright light coming from one room in the place. It was so bright it hurt my eyes, you know? Interesting. So I shut them tight, opened them up, and would you believe it, the place vanished completely from sight, like it never existed. Interesting. I know, right? Hey, uh, thanks for the ride, and thank you for the good story, too. Have a good one. You too, sir. You never know when tales to astonish arrive on your doorstep, as this week's story proves. That does it for this week's edition of Strangely Local, a Hastings Community TV original series. We will see you again next week. Till then, Hastings, keep things strange.